absolute and relative change are things that you probably use on a, well, I would say maybe even daily basis without even really knowing it. So absolute change is simply, uh, let me get a pen here, simply the difference between two, two items, right? So when you say, you know, oh, we got three more inches of rain today than we did yesterday, you just did absolute change. Relative change is related to that. Very, very similar, except we generally also talk about relative change as a percent change. So like, man, I gained 10% of my body weight. Sh shut up. Everybody did his COVID. Um, anyway, right? So if we're talking about a percent change, that's relative change. So what we're going to do today in this video is talk about how we're going to do those. So some formulas for you, things that I remember. So absolute change is taking the new value and subtracting the old value. Sometimes we also talk about that as the final value minus the initial value. I missed an I in there. So depending on how it works in your head, either one of those things will get there. Okay. Now the relative change is very, very, right? I said it was related. So the relative change can be taken, depending on which one of these you're using, new minus old, that's the absolute change, divided by the old value. If you're using the, uh, the words final and initial, it's final minus initial over the initial, right? It's the same thing, right? It just depends on what words work better in your head. You've got to come up with what makes sense to you and then roll with that as far as you can go. So let's go ahead, excuse me, and do some examples. Nelson earned 43,000 in his first year at his job. In year five, he was earning 68,000. What is the absolute and relative change from year one to year five and interpret these changes? Okay, because again, math is more than just the numbers. Now, the key here is from, right? From year one, wherever we're coming from, that's old. Wherever we're going to, that's new. So whether you're talking about, um, you know, final, initial, sometimes initial is a little bit easier because it's initial is where you're starting. Um, final is where you're ending up. But again, it's up to you what works in your head. So let's go ahead and, and rock this out. So I would say my, my final value or my new value is 68,000. And the old value or where I started is 43. So my absolute change is 25,000. And it's positive. That means from year one to year five, Nelson had a $25,000 increase in his salary. That's the interpretation. I'm not writing the interpretation. I don't have that much time. But that's what it means. There was a $25,000 increase from year one to year five. Now let's do the relative change. Remember the relative change is new minus old divided by old. So I know that my absolute change is 25,000. My old value, right, or my initial value was 43,000. So when I divide those two, 25,000 divided by 43,000, I get 0.581. Now, as a percent, that's roughly 58.1%. Again, this is positive. That means from year one to year five, Nelson had a 58.1% increase in salary. All right, so if it's positive, it's an increase. If it's negative, it's a decrease. Let's go to the next example. Whoa, skipped one. Rochester was covered in 2.3 inches of snow on Monday and 8.2 inches of snow on Tuesday. What is the absolute relative change in the amount of snow from Monday to Tuesday? Well, this is our initial. There's our final, right? Using those words instead. So to find the absolute change, we take final minus initial. 8.2 minus 2.3, and our answer there is 5.9. Again, it's positive. That means it's an increase. So from Monday to Tuesday, we had a 5.9 inches of snow increase uh, here in Rochester. I shouldn't say here. I'm not in Rochester. I made this stuff up. Okay. If we're talking relative change, we know that relative change is final minus initial all over the initial or new minus old divided by old. I don't care how you think about it. Well, we know the numerator is 5.9. We've already talked about that. Now the initial, what did we start with? We started with 2.3. When I divide those, I get 2.565, again, I rounded, which as a percent is 256.5%, right? 200%, right? More than doubled. Well, yeah, 2.3 to 8.2, way more than doubled. 
That's why it's such a huge percent, right? So from Monday to Tuesday, there was a 256.5% increase in snow in Rochester. That's exciting, right? De obviously, depending on what you're talking about, sometimes you want to use absolute change. Sometimes you use relative change. Depends on the topic. Let's do one more. Wesley weighed 268 pounds on January 1st and 189 pounds on December 31st. Calculate the absolute and relative change on Wesley's weight loss throughout the year. Okay, so where did he end up? We know we're taking the new minus the old. So his new weight minus his old weight gives us set negative 79. There was a decrease in his weight. That's noted by the negative in front of that number. So Wesley lost 79 pounds throughout the year. Good job, Wesley. Now, let's find the relative change. Again, we take the absolute change and we divide by the initial or the old, which is 268. And when I get that, I get 0 0.295. Again, I rounded, which is roughly negative 29.5. So Wesley lost 29.5% of his weight, right, in that year. That's what that means. There was a decrease of 29.5% of his body weight. So I wanted to do a negative example as well. So absolute relative change can be positive or negative. Positive means we have an increase. Negative means we have a decrease. Just make sure you're keeping track of what your new and old or initial and final. I don't care how you think of it. Just make sure you're keeping track of what's what to keep your formulas uh, consistent.